In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get Dexter Deshaun's weapon in Cyberpunk 2077. It's an iconic pistol called Plan B. And this pistol actually has unlimited ammo, which is crazy. I'll explain how in a moment. However, if you've not already played through the prologue mission called The Heist, this video obviously contains spoilers, so watch at your own risk. But also guys, I'm giving away a copy of Cyberpunk 2077 on your choice of platform. All you need to do is like the video and leave a comment below, and you need to be a subscriber to win. Okay, so I was curious ever since the opening prologue mission when Dexter Deshaun betrays you by shooting you in the head to try and cover his tracks. You can see he has a unique pistol that you only get a slight glimpse at before he just nails you in the face. But I was thinking to myself, can I actually get this gun? Well, after you wake up at the junkyard where Dexter Deshaun dumps you, you'll see Takamura and Dexter once again. Clearly, Dexter has led Takamura to you, and then you get to watch Takamura avenge your death by killing Dexter Deshaun on the spot in this junkyard. Now, I'm not so sure about you guys, but my first thought here was, does this location actually exist in the game? And can we come back here and find Dexter Deshaun's body? Well, it turns out you can. It took me absolutely ages to find this. But using the features that you can see in this scene, like the free pylons, you can see Night City in the background, obviously you're in the junkyard, and there's also this strange looking sort of plane structure behind them. Well, as soon as I realized there was a junkyard in Cyberpunk 2077, I knew that somewhere they might have Dexter's body in. So the search began. And then I made this video so you guys don't need to bother having a look for yourself to try and find his body. Now, as you'd imagine, you can only grab Dexter Deshaun's pistol after you finish the quest, the heist, because obviously after that, Dexter will be dead in the scrapyard. In order to actually find Dexter, you need to come all the way out of Night City into the Badlands, which is this wasteland area outside the city. There's a road just here specifically. Once you get outside the city, you're going to want to come all the way down this road just here where you'll find there is a petrol station around here. So as you guys can see, which is really interesting, it took me ages to figure this out, but you can actually see the crane and the pylons, the three pylons that are in the background of this cutscene, and also that sort of odd looking shape over there, which was also in the background. So just drive down here past the petrol station, basically all the way to the end of this road. It's so cool that they actually did this. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh, how much attention to detail are the developers actually putting into the game? And this is exactly the kind of thing I like to see that actually exists in the game. So just carry on down this pathway here. And eventually, we will find the actual site where we our body was dumped. And that's where we'll find Dexter Deshaun's body. Here it is. This is the actual site, and you can see his body is still there. You can come here anytime, by the way. There's no, like, timer on coming and finding his body. But, like, if you guys look, this is, like, the exact scene. I know it's a bit misty right now, but you can see that giant ship in the background there. Those are the three pylons we could see in the background. And obviously, if you take a look on the map, you can see a bit of Night City here in the background, too. So, it's pretty damn awesome that they have this attention to detail here. I was a huge fan of that. You can actually see like where we crawled out of just here too and we were sitting just here in this little wreckage and that's where we crawled from and then we saw takamura shoot dexter right in front of us so obviously if we come over to dexter's body we can see he has his iconic weapon plan b now obviously like all the other weapons in the game you can upgrade this to legendary quality but it's actually one of the worst weapons in the game uh, let me let me pick it up and show you why Damn, Dexter, you're not looking good though, bro. Also, though, after you've looted Dexter, there is a fridge here which you can open. And inside, you will find a Netrunner. Now, I assume this is kind of like a dumping ground for a lot of different characters in the game. Um, but I'm trying to think who this actually is. So let me know if you know in the comments what character this is. I don't know if it has something to do with the Voodoo Boys because it's definitely like the kind of ice tub freezer that they would use, but I just don't recognize the Netrunner. 
that's actually in here. So let me know if you guys know in the comment section. I'd be genuinely very interested to know. The game won't let you scan them to find out who they are, so hmm. So as I said, this iconic weapon, Plan B, is actually quite bad because of its iconic effect, which obviously is unique to this weapon. Bullets have a higher chance to apply bleeding, but keep an eye on your wallet. Every shot costs you eddies. Now I think this is very appropriate considering you got it from Dexter to Sean. And if you have a look at the description at the bottom, it says always have a backup plan for when your plan A falls through. So as you guys can see, each bullet you fire will cost you an eddy. So as you guys can see, each round you fire with this gun, you will waste one eddy. However, the weapon actually uses your money as ammo. So technically, I believe that makes it kind of cheaper to use this weapon instead of buying ammo. However, as far as iconic effects goes, this is the worst iconic effect compared to most other pistols I've come across in the game. Because you end up spending more money compared to another pistol that just simply does more damage per shot. Alright, so first let's upgrade Dex's weapon to epic quality. If you guys don't understand how the crafting system works, I will be doing a guide about that and linking it down below. Next we can upgrade it to legendary quality. As you guys can see, it now does 311 DPS and 86 damage per shot and still fires around four times per second. Now, obviously, my character doesn't have any perks or attributes specced into handguns, so I don't have any additional damage there. But my point is, is that even in legendary quality, Plan B is still a very subpar weapon because there are just so many other better pistols in the game. So do not waste your materials on upgrading Dex's iconic weapon. If you want some better weapons to grab, linked in the description below, you will find a whole playlist of the best iconic weapons in the entire game, including Johnny Silverhand's gun and more. Thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a like if you found it helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.